Mondstadt. A beautiful, peaceful town with a load of windmills, more windmills, and a lot of nice folk. But what's really going on underneath the surface of this peaceful looking town? How is the local economy doing? Well, there's only one way to find that out, and that's by doing an unemployment survey. Now for this unemployment survey today, because of my uh, general unfamiliarity uh, with this area and with this world, uh, the Bureau has sent me with a consultant uh, named Mem. Hello, my name is Mem. I am a consultant. What's the most efficient way to get a, a sense of the unemployment in a town? Uh, <laughs> you're the expert. That's right. It's a direct, we're doing a direct survey, just like we always do. We're going to be walking around and surveying every single individual person in this entire town, getting a count of the population, the demographic, uh, but most importantly whether they have a job. So you put a lot of, of faith in people self-reporting accurately. No, yeah, <laughs> sort of. All right, so we're gonna start just right outside the front gates here with Swan. Now it says here, Knight of Favronius. What does that mean? Knight of Favronius means they're the police here, basically. Sounds like mega employment to me. Thank you, Swan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next up, Lawrence. Lawrence, also a Knight of Favronius, also doing that little salute. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? You can't help me anymore. You already have. So okay. yeah, do we want to go? Do I want to go left or right? Let's. <clears throat> so from what I can tell, and maybe you can help me with this, this town is sort of in levels. Is that correct? It's like lower level, middle level, upper yes, level. Yes, there's a lot of stairs. Perfect. All right, we're gonna just start lower then, and we'll go to the left to start. So first of all, this man's swinging a hammer. You know what that means. He's working hard. He's working hard. He's got muscles. That guy in the back working hard or hardly working, you know. But this guy working hard. Miles, Knight of Favonius. Guess what that means? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Who the this hell man are is you? Stanley. Stanley. Okay. Stanley is an adventurer. Okay, so can I tell you about the adventurers? You can, but I might edit it out if it's boring. Now this down here is a flower shop, which during the day has a there's a little girl there selling things. Doing what's Donna doing during the day? Wow, that was a lot of D's. Uh, the same thing she's doing right now. Just standing around, not helping standing anybody around, with anything. Daydreaming. Donna. Donna, I. I think Donna might be unemployed. I I would agree with that, to be honest. I like this little German-feeling town. Huffman, another night. Yeah, That's employment. Night. Pa Patton, he used to work for the United States government back in the in the forties during World War Two. Don't worry about it. I don't know anything about that. Come in, come in. We're having a discount. This man works. Yeah, yeah. This man is He's working. working hard. Nimrod. That's a good name. Nimrod, are you employed? What are you doing? Is that a trick question? I'm on my way to have a drink. Man of the people. I don't think my wife will have overheard that. Okay, so he's an alcoholic whose wife doesn't know he's an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. All he ever really talks about is, is drinking. And all the people he's talking about I'm had funny sure, names yeah. called like Dumbo the Drinker and <laughs> Idiot the Drinking Fool. And his name is Nimrod. Idiot the Drinking Fool. So he probably just drinks. Which that does that's seem not, to be true. That is not employed behavior. I would agree. Of everyone in this town, Nimrod probably has the most unemployed energy. My job is eating. That's not a job. <laughs> All right, Patton, we already talked to you. Huffman, we already talked to you. Let's, I guess, go back. I'll take a peek back here. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, this is gonna prove quite a conundrum. Flora is the owner of a flower shop. Yes. Okay, so this, by all accounts, this person is working and has a job, but is also a child. It does say Flora is the owner, though. Shit. This is an extremely employed child. This is, like, as in, not only employed, but owning a business. Like, that's... Yes. It doesn't get more employed than that. Like, a kid with a lemonade stand. The Bureau's <laughs> not going up to them and going, Hey, kid, are, is this an employment? Let me see your W4 or whatever. It's, it's just a lemonade stand. That's it's all this is. It's just a lemonade stand. You're just, she just picked dandelions from her fucking backyard. And it's trying to sling him. All right, All right she doesn't count. Under, she doesn't count. Under NA. Okay, so going up this hallway, we can kind of talk to people, like up these stairs. All right. Oh my so God. This, this is looking left. like a lot of employment. First of all, Cher, Catherine, Ada Astra Abasuk. That's Latin for I have a job and I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Marjorie, she's the owner of a store. Thank you for your employment, Marjorie. Everybody this way, just more alcohol all over the place. I know. Uh, a lot of drinking in this town. What's going on? There is. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. Here. Is that all the towns? Is there like just a lot of alcohol involved no, in this, this game? No, is, this is the alcoholic town. All right. Okay. I mean, it's kind of like German, you know, like kind of old. A little bit, yeah. It's maybe, like, maybe it's Oktoberfest. All right. Yuri. How are you, Yuri? She's just wandering. 
I'm suspicious of the people that are just wandering. I envy those who can show restraint when shopping, which means she has trouble showing restraint, but it does mean she shops a lot. Oh! Oh, she's the wife alcoholic, of the alcoholic. scoundrel of a husband. Okay, so we know that she's able to buy stuff. We know that her husband is an unemployed drunk. Yeah, he doesn't do She's got to have a job. So she has to be making because money. Because she's paying money. We're buying things. She probably can't afford her shopping because he's spending oh it all on God, alcohol. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. All right. I think I feel like that's a... F we can assume that Yuri's employed. Either that or she just, like, is rich. But we're going to say employed. Uh, Blanche. Blanche. Employed. Easy. Shopkeeper. Shopkeeper. <laughs> Anna, standing by the fountain. Unemployed behavior, just standing around, but we'll see. Oh, she's got COVID. What are you doing, Anna? She's making a wish. Maybe you should wish for a job, Anna. Exactly. Anthony works tirelessly every night just to earn money to buy medicine for me. That She's not so working. So she's not Nah, employed. she's not employed. This lady's sick. Now, maybe there's a question of, is she on sort of like an equivalent of disability? Because if she's not able-bodied, then she, and if she cannot work, mm. then she's not applicable. So it's possible she's just too ill. It seems like she can't work. It kind of she's feels like that. She's over here coughing every two seconds. I mean, or at least she thinks she can't work. She probably, if you put a pickaxe in her hand and like point a gun at her head, <laughs> she probably would do some work. I'm just saying. I think probably though, like legally speaking, she probably just doesn't count because of her illness, right? Okay. I think that's, that's fair. fair. Right. So unemployed is truly only like they really should get a job. Yeah. But yeah, yeah no, I'm not, listen, I'm not unreasonable. Austin really does hate unemployed <laughs> people. Like, despises them. He talks about it all the time. Um, all right, did we miss anyone in this area? We talked to Marjorie. Talked to these wandering people. These windmills. What do the windmills do? Are we going to get to go in a windmill? Uh, you can't go in them. What are they for? I imagine they power something, but I really don't know. Maybe the fountain. <laughs> this <is> eight windmills <laughs> to power the fountain. Yeah, maybe. All right, that's it for this market area. Now we're going to go up to what I like to call the windmill city. The party city for windmills. All right, first up, Alfrey sitting down on a bench. But Alfrey is working for the intelligence department. And we have a lot of respect for our friends in the intelligence department. So definitely employed. Glory. Hello, Glory. Glory doesn't have any eyes. Are you blind? Glory is oh, blind. you are blind. Okay, so Glory is has a disability of blindness. She does, you know. I can confirm she is on that bench all day, every day. Okay, so she can't. She can't be working. I mean, there's not any jobs here that you could do blind. Actually, there totally are. You could sell fruit, but we're gonna give her this one. We're gonna say she's not a. You're an A. Raymond, you work for the Knights. Congratulations, my friend. You are employed. It is funny now that you mention it, how how many games there's, like, many more guards than they would need for the amount of people yeah. you like would like, it would be like having a, a city of 200,000 people with 200,000 police officers. Yes. <laughs> insane. All right, who the hell are you? Diplomats. Oh, okay, interesting. So diplomats are employed for sure, but are they employed here? Do these they people live here? They are not from here? here. They're from Fatui. Mm-hmm. Well, they're from Shneznaya. All right. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I. That's what I meant. All right. So two people, but they're not. We're not even gonna count them as NA because they're not even part of the population. So we're just gonna move on. Anthony, get out of the fountain, buddy. All right. He's this man is stealing money out of the water fountain. Oh, so she said he was working for her medication, but his working is just stealing stealing money out of this fountain. Ah, but look, huh? I also work oh, hard I at my job. Oh, I also work hard at my job. So Anthony is both employed and a dirty, rotten thief. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can be both. Okay, what the heck's going on up here? There's a lot of people in this town, dude. <laughs> Sansa. It's more than I remember. Perfect timing. Listen to this. Sansa's a bard. That could go either way. My parents were extremely resistant to the idea of me being a bard. They said there's no job security. Okay, so the goal... She is trying to be a bard professionally. Mm -hmm. So she's unemployed. She's unemployed, but she's aspiring employed. But she wants she to be a job. Is. That's really the definition of... A lot of people say that I should only count people who don't have a job and want a job, which I guess is her. So yeah, she's hella on the board. Herman. Or no, he's not a guard. Sorry. This looks, he looks like a peanut butter gamer. Uh, he does. <laughs> he does. Wagner's swords are also expensive, says Herman. I'm just an ordinary dad. A dad. Good for you. All he loves now is his wife. Okay. He's a wife guy. Herman's a yeah, wife he's a guy. Wife guy. He used no to go, money. No money. Okay. Yeah. No. He's Herman. unemployed. It sounds like he used to go on adventures and now he's retired. And he's like, I can't risk that. I have a family to raise. 
But he doesn't and he have also any says money. no money. Is a retired person unemployed? No. No. But he's not old enough to be retired. And he clearly doesn't have enough money to retire because he's walking around talking about no money. I feel like if you're walking around the square all day saying well, no, no money I don't have any money. Over, money for you have to be unemployed. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. All right, Herman. Sorry. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. An old man. But he works. He's the boss of boss of the goth grand hotel we met your son he owns a hotel he's so he owns a hotel he's employed it's easy as that thank you sir you should retire soon look at these two round bushes with one tall one in the middle oh oh i see it's a penis um am okay. i going up here what, 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 up? what am i doing going yeah. up, up 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 we go all we have left is the the square in front of the church all right sweet okay this area is gigantic love that all right Aramis, a knight employed. Six fingered Jose. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right, are you a more successful bard than the uh, other one? Hey, amiga, I like there's just like a Mexican guy. Do you want to hear my latest composition? Do you get. No, I'm a beloved bard. So that would imply he's been successful, right? Or I should say I used to be beloved. I mean, he is out here doing it, so he must be making something. All right. Six fingered Jose is employed. Nora. Hello, Nora. I don't even need to talk to you, Nora. You know why? <laughs> your child now what about all you people traveling scholar traveling doesn't live he doesn't here. live here why don't you pray with us because i'm at work vile an informant in like an official way so what is an informant do you know anything about this woman i know nothing about this woman she kind of sounds like a consultant because she's talking about uh giving some that's like advice. what you do you're a consultant yeah, you know, uh, game recognized game. Right, okay. Uh, she's giving consultants, so which she's is employed. Employed, all right. Thank you, Vile. Okay, church boy, Albert, how are you? Sorry, I was just leaving. Leaving what? Oh, so he's in love with a nun. Yeah. He's in love with a nun, and he runs a fan club for the, for a nun. This is not... She's a really hot nun. Yes. Yeah, most of them are. You ever see Sound of Music, dude? So, first of all, notwithstanding the fact that this is creepy behavior, this is... Unemployed behavior. This in my is opinion. something. This is something you come up with when you have a lot of free time. Exactly. See, you're, this is exactly right. I think I'm gonna go hang this. Right. <laughs> unemployed, Albert. Get out of here. He's big unemployed. So we finished all of the outdoor areas, and now we get to go inside. First stop, inside the cathedral. All right, we got a lot of people in the cathedral. First of all, guy from another city. Doesn't matter. Second of all, a couple of children. No, wait. It's a it's peanut butter gamer hanging out with a child. Uh oh. This so is, a different is this? Guy. Are you sure? I'm positive. I think the other guy's name started with an H. This is a different guy. Okay, Daddy. Who's Papa Toes? Is he a magic man? Oh no, I don't like the idea of a what? With someone a magic named man named Papa, Papa Toes, Toes running the church with a bunch of sisters. That is extremely suspicious. The reason why mommy and daddy have a happy life is because Lord Barbados is a very nice man, and Papa Toes is constantly screwing my wife <laughs> so he probably is like just a stay-at-home dad so he's na he's hanging out with the kid he's babysitting the kid all day he is he's by babysitting. babysitting i mean raising his child yes you know, right by babysitting a father babysitting right. his daughter yeah his, 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 a father babysitting his wife's kid mm -hmm. is what that is victoria you are employed at the church i am I'm victoria, victoria from, the, from church. the church okay next up into the knight's headquarters it's gonna be a lot of employment so get that pen ready mm. <laughs> Employment? Hello? Hello? No. No employment in here. Ah, hello, sir. Why, why rat? Employed. Yeah, I feel like this town has a lot more stuff than it has people. Like, if you think about this it. Like, true. look at it's all little, these chairs, dude. It's a little dude. Bit sparse. Like, what's the population of the town so far? 10, 20, 30, 40, what, 50? Yeah. You, that's, you could fit them all in this room. Wood. These people got crazy names. All right, Wood is employed. So, inside this knight's barracks, there are two knights this is true what's going on welcome to angel share the tavern six finger up, jose, six finger jose is back it's yeah. hard to forget him so it's impossible to forget six finger jose cyrus definitely not talked to and also jack cyrus is branch master of the adventurers guild jack is an adventurer sitting with cyrus so probably employed by the adventurers guild right i would say so charles bartender obviously employed thank you charles Pain. All right, let's see. Pain. The drinks are on me today. What you doing, Pain? Have we talked to Pain before? If you he are is okay, drunk, I'm sorry. And he it's is like seven a.m. Right, bro. This man is not employed. He was too drunk to see me. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. And it is seven forty-five in the morning. <laughs> exactly. 
All right, we are almost done. We've gotten all the, the outsides and the insides inside the walls. Uh, but now we're going to check outside the walls to see who is, see if there's any employment out here. Oh, I think I see someone. Somebody looking wistfully over the lake. A fishing person. Are you selling the fish or just fishing as a hobby? Looks like you're selling fish. An angler. I'd like he's to buy selling, some fishing supplies. Yeah, he's Boom. Selling, selling. Fishing selling. Supplies. Amazing. Thanks, Nantuck. Jones. Never again, says Jones. Thanks be to the an Animo Archon. He's standing on the port with all these boxes that need to get unloaded. He's a yeah. strong looking guy. He probably is like an unloader for the port. Almost certainly, right? Yeah. Agreed. Employed. He's employed. A child named Arthur. You know what we say about children. N.A. N.A. Not applicable. He's got a funky hat. I'm sure he'll get a job someday. Ulfur. Not looking good. Am I here to jeer and ridicule you? That depends, Ulfur. Do you have a job? He he's tried building to, a boat out of dandelions, bro. He tried to build a boat out of bro. dandelions. Come on. But if this is what he spends his days doing, that sounds pretty unemployed to me. It's definitely unemployed behavior, right? Sitting around stringing dandelions together. Mm -hmm. All right. Mark him down. Unemployed. All right. Are these the last two folks? It sounds like it. Three folks. One of them is a child. First up, your child, Sage. Guess what, Sage? Your child. They gotta be his parents, right? Parsley. We can't go on like this. The dandelion sea. There's no way to find it. Wait, so is this a couple? And they're named Parsley and Ro Rosemary? Parsley, Rosemary, and Sage. So it's all just a bunch of herbs. But so are these people that just happen to meet each other that both have spice Yeah, names? that's a great point. Yeah. Who's, are they brother they and sister like and then they got married and had a kid? I mean, siblings I don't know, are, Siblings are dating. Parsley and Rosemary. Yeah, they could be both. It's interesting that both they're, parents have the day off. Yes, they're both not working right now, at least, during the day. Right. They're both, as, as you would say, babysitting their, their child. Oh, well, no, their the mother child. is raising her child. The father, the father is babysitting, babysitting the mother's child. Right? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Those are kind of designer glasses, which I feel like, you know, take some money. This is such a stupid exercise. Because at this point, we're literally just going like, well, he has boots and you need to buy <laughs> boots. Know, it's like, I What's, know, I know. What are we doing? You know what? Here's what I want to know. If they leave at night. If they don't leave at night, that's telling me they're, these people are sleeping out here and they, they're homeless and they don't have a job. It's a homeless family. Hippie homeless family. Fair? Fair. All right. So when this camera comes back down, if they're still here, they're unemployed. Holy hell. They're People still here doing the same thing. Yeah, they just live out here. They're just here. hanging out. Just vagrants hanging out on outside the city. All right. Child doesn't count. Two unemployed adults. All right. Well, it's sad to end on a sad note, but uh, that wraps up the survey, which means there's only one more thing to do. Throw it over to the Bureau of Labor Statistics for their economic situation summary. Ma'am, thank you so much for the help. Thank you so much for the consultation. Mm -hmm. And we're going to throw it over to the summary now, the press conference in three, two, one. Press conference. Hey, hi, hello folks, welcome back. Another uh, press conference, that light, can we turn that light down? Uh, welcome to another employment situation summary. This will be for the city of Mondstadt in a place called Te Tevat. There are no announcements or anything to make, so let's get right into the data, shall we? Total surface payroll employment for uh, Mondstadt is at 48 persons and unemployment is at 22.6%, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported today. Wow. Uh, the city of Mondstadt is a large uh, pseudo-stratocratic city. Who is writing these? Uh, in the region of Mondstadt, total estimated population is 76 person, with the vast majority, or the vast majority of which are uh, working age, almost 90%. Economically, the city operates similarly to many uh, medieval centers of commerce, with the bulk of goods being imported for sale at a variety of market shops and restaurants from the surrounding regions. That's a common thing. We've seen that before. Uh, Mondstadt's primary employers then are typical shops, police, soldiers, restaurants, religious centers, etc. Uh, make up the entirety of its employment. There isn't a single clear unique industry or export uh, that makes Mondstadt any more appealing a place to live and work than anywhere else, which makes its very high unemployment a huge issue in the long term. Uh, there is an abundance of windmills scattered in and around the city. Uh, typically, windmills are practical machines used for grinding wheat into flour, cutting logs, or pumping water. Uh, the Bureau, however, was unable to make a clear determination of what the purpose was for all this infrastructure. In the case of Mondstadt, not a single person 
made mention of working in or around them. So that's confusing. Also confusing, just an extra blank sheet of paper in this report, thank you. Uh, but a big part of the story with Mondstadt is reg uh, with regards to public health, health and the consumption of alcohol. Not unlike locations in, for example, the United States of America, like Milwaukee, uh, Mondstadt has easy access to alcohol and a strong social drinking culture. Uh, with this comes the presence of regularly inebriated and unemployed citizens along with the presence of chronic illness, both directly and indirectly related to the city's enthusiasm for non-sobriety. In conclusion, uh, Mondstadt's current economic situation is likely unsustainable. 22.6% puts Mondstadt towards the bottom of our list, just ahead of Pallet Town and Canto. So not, uh, not great news for Mondstadt. Dang, okay. We wish them the best of luck. I also wish you the best of luck in selecting another one of my videos to watch. That helps me a lot when it comes to the algorithm. This video is made possible by my supporters on Patreon. Thanks to all of you so much. If you want to consider, there's a link down below. And last, but certainly not least, guess what? In my free time, I make a lot of music. I use that music in all my videos, and today I'm giving you yet another song. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Okay.